okay before you uh, provide any space type properties make sure that you run another script which is add new thermal zones for spaces with no thermal zone as i mentioned you earlier in my previous video you need to provide thermal zones to your spaces uh, to run the hvac system properties or need to assign the hvac systems or thermostat settings as i uh, as i also mentioned you earlier you can actually combine a couple of spaces to create uh, lesser thermal zones but for now let's just create thermal zone uh, on one is to one ratio if you have let's say 19 spaces this script will create 19 thermal zones for you one thermal zone for one space let's just do that for now okay this script again lives in alter or add model elements what you see on your computer screen let's just run it uh, I'm sorry I click on some wrong script it seems let me just do it again add new thermal zone for script for spaces with no thermal zone click on it and go to inspector tool and now you can see you have 19 thermal zones again with very default names now I like to run one more script here go to extensions open studio user script alter or add model elements and look for this script which says rename thermal zones based on space names again extensions open studio user scripts alter or add model elements and then rename thermal zones based on space names rename uh, rename all those thermal zones now you can see those thermal zones are named based on the space names and that's why i ask you to rename those spaces now you know which thermal zone is connected to which space all right it's easy now if you go to spaces let's say these are my 19 spaces they are connected to those thermal zones here you can see the name is same okay so now we have thermal zones assigned to these spaces you don't see those thermal zones physically but they are connected to these spaces they are like virtual spaces actually i should say zones they are not visible on your screen but they will contain a lot of properties to run the simulation all right so what i can do i can now provide the space type properties to my spaces as i mentioned you earlier these are just boxes they have insulation properties but they don't have any properties like schedules or uh, internal gains right when you provide space types to these spaces that's when you will have those properties assigned to these spaces or these boxes those space types as i mentioned you earlier contain a lot of properties something like internal gain properties schedules okay those are open studio resources what i already explained you earlier if you uh like skip those videos please uh, go back to uh, my video number let's say let me just go back my video number uh, two which is uh, hierarchy inheritance hierarchy concept video look into that it will explain you more on this um this thing the open studio resource thing all right so uh how can i do it either i can just do it from inspector tool go to inspector tool go to spaces and assign the pro uh, the space time name here right there's one way or i can uh, use this uh, wizard this set attributes for selected spaces what i can do i can actually select multiple spaces and then assign the properties so let's just do that okay first i want to assign the stories to my project let's say this first floor was constructed in 1980 so, so i want to assign a new story for this i have uh, selected these spaces very precisely using the cursor see a lot of times people like you know like select something like this if they are not very precise so see i did not just select the ground floor i selected other spaces as well so you need to be very precise you just need to understand how your mouse work and all it comes with uh, practice so please keep practicing i know initially it will be very difficult okay so i selected this ground floor you can see all these spaces from ground floors are selected i click on this uh, set attributes for selected spaces and just assign the building story again just building story for now okay uh, let's say building story one cool hit okay 
uh, and then I select all the rest of spaces like this see all these spaces are selected they were constructed constructed in let's say 2010 go to set attributes for selected spaces again and assign the build storing to or you can just create a new story whatever I already have three stories in my project so that's what I'm going to use hit OK okay I have assigned the stories to my project now what I can do I can actually assign the space types to my spaces uh, it takes some time to get familiar with the SketchUp tools so let me just explain you everything in detail the way I like to use it so for example if I need to assign these spaces for my ground floor uh, it's very difficult to assign it right now either I just like go into ground floor like from from bottom and then assign it or what I can do I can actually select my like top two spaces or um, floors like this and just hide them right click on them and hide it now uh, you can see those intersect surfaces because of surface matching script now what I can do I can uh, assign the properties for example I know this is like corridor here the center uh, 10 feet wide corridor just click on it and uh, go to set attributes for selected spaces select the space type as corridor when you select this space type as corridor it assigns all those internal gain properties and schedules based on DOE reference buildings and Azure 90.1 2010 compliance okay the schedules that you bring in this in this um, interface is as per DOE reference buildings okay so again it's a good start uh, to bring those schedules in your project and later you can update them as per your need in open studio interface we will update those schedules and rest of other things in next video after two weeks from now cool uh, we have assigned the space type I don't want to assign the construction set for now uh, let's say uh, my I'm, I'm I can either just create a new schedule construction set uh, let's say like you know if you click on this you need to provide a lot of information or for now let's just keep things for simple like uh, we can just assign the same construction set but you know what it it already is been assigned at building level so you need not to assign it here I know we are constructing like creating two stories but here we have only one construction set so it can make things difficult here I mean I can click on the construction set but I won't I don't want to do it for now I'm going to uh, assign a new construction set later in open studio interface that's for now just keep it no change uh, when you keep it as no change it means it will also have the construction set what you have assigned at building level which is as per well Azure 90.1 2010 uh, do you want to assign thermal zones well we already have assigned the thermal zones to spaces on 1 to 1 ratio so we need not to do it again next thing is do you want to assign the ideal a load status to your thermal zones um, if you don't have any thermal zone and you uh, make some changes here it more won't make any impact on your project and that's why we assigned thermal zones before this set attribute for selected space script what is an ideal a load by the way again it, this is a very important concept here so please pay some attention an ideal a load status means that your thermal zones uh, have an HVAC system attached to it or attached to uh, them these systems uh, they have infinite capacity they are always available and they are 100% efficient okay again they are always available they have infinite capacity and they are 100% efficient why you want to assign this non-realistic uh, system well uh, you want to assign this this kind of system to your spaces just to do some kind of load calculations when you assign this ideal a load status to your spaces and run this simulation you will get the load calculation you will get the heating and cooling load for your project so for example uh, a lot of times you want to just let your architects or your uh, clients know the uh, the impact of different kind of lightings on your project the heating and load uh, impact heating and cooling load impact because of lighting 
so what you do you assign those different kind of lightings if you don't have any specs for hvac system just assign this ideal load uh, a load then this simulation and just let your team know what is happening in terms of heating and cooling load all right a lot of people they use different kind of tools to uh, calculate these uh, heating and cooling loads but you can also do it here by using this ideal a load method okay so i always like to start with uh, ideal load as yes set parent thermostat yes let's just assign some thermostat uh, you can always edit this thermostat later in open studio interface for now i'm just going to assign a default generic value based on my library what i have downloaded as per building type uh, and construction uh, and building type yes so let's just assign a corridor thermostat and hit ok now you can do it for rest of the spaces as well like for example like these three spaces are office spaces just assign them as let's say open office for now uh, thermal zone there's no need idle a loads yes thermostat for open office yes let's do that and hit ok Let's say this is a restroom. Assign restroom here. Ideal load, yes. What else? Thermostat maybe for restroom. Yes, hit OK. And let's say these two are conference rooms. Same thing, assign space type for conference room. Ideal load and thermostat can be for conference room. Hit OK. So now all these spaces on this floor have some kind of space types assigned. Okay. And now uh, I want to assign it for other floors. So go to edit, unhide all, edit, unhide all. You can see those spaces now. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, hide my first floor. Again, select my first floor precisely, hide it. And now I can uh, hide the this floor as well and you can see uh, I can make some changes here this geometry looks a bit weird so it's for, fine for now we have made so many changes so it, it's okay it should uh, run the simulation later if it doesn't work that will be actually good for us because then we can troubleshoot a lot more things all right so I'm just going to assign something real quick uh, let's say this is a corridor uh, this is core space, so I'm going to assign corridor properties to this. Space type can be corridor. Ideally, load yes. Thermostat can be for corridor. Hit OK. All right. Uh, I can select everything here. Go to um, this set attribute for selected spaces again, and assign ideal a load as yes, so that I need not to assign this property again and again. All right. So now what I need to do, I just need to uh, select spaces. Let's say these spaces are, um, let's say, let's just select two of these spaces or maybe, yeah, two should be okay. And assign properties of closed office this time. And thermostat may be of closed office. We already have assigned ideal A load uh, in previous step. Hit okay. Uh, we, have uh, we have already done it for this. Let's just do it one more time so that like, you know I don't have any confusion in my mind this can be conference room let's say this is a restroom if you're working on your uh, computer please make sure that you assign all these space types for all these spaces I meant uh, assign these space types for all these spaces you need not to e use each and every space type here it is a library again if you don't have any IT room or mechanical room you need not to use this space type a lot of times people get confused so don't get confused with this okay so I have assigned some properties to uh, this space let me just assign more properties please keep working the way that I'm doing here I'm going to assign more properties uh, let's say this is closed room again and uh, thermostat and maybe these spaces can be something else this time let's say these are uh, IT rooms all right let's do that you need not to assign ideal a load again thermostat can be for IT room hit okay what else left this is done I think this is done all right 
so i think uh, we are good with this unhide everything again and assign properties here let's say this space is um, let's say this space is something different this time um, lobby all right let's just assume that you have some bridge that is connecting to this lobby on second or third floor it's like funky building okay same thing and this can be stored this time this topmost tiny floor uh, storage yes and storage thermostat if let's say if your thermost if your storage doesn't have any thermostat it's unconditioned you can change it later okay hit okay so now I have assigned space types to all my spaces I can QC it either by just clicking on this option which is render by save space time you can see each and every space has its own rendering it means the properties is been assigned 